Hey, what up guys? How's it going? Something kind of cool here. And uh, one of the things I like about Swan as technology evolves, so do they. They implement some of the best things out there. So depending on what system you have, and I'll try to list the systems below, depending on what system you have, it'll now work with Google Assistant. So you could speak to your Google Assistant and then it will go ahead and put it on your TV. Now, as long as your TV has some sort of a built-in Chromecast or uh, you have a separate attachment Chromecast that you have on your television, you'll be good to go. You could simply say, hey Google, show channel one, and then bang your cameras will show up. How cool is that? That's pretty awesome. So uh, don't worry, I'm gonna show you what you need to have to download. Just a quick little video and show my system working on my TV via the Chromecast. So how cool is that? Let's say you hear something outside, you hear something in the back, someone rings the doorbell, you know, and you're watching TV, you can say, hey Google, and you know, you can see it right there on your TV without ever having to leave the comfort of your couch. Pretty cool. So uh, yeah, we'll get into it and uh, like this. Okay you guys, here we go. So I have my smartphone here and I have the Google Home app downloaded and installed on my phone. Now you'll need to install that on your smartphone, whether you have Android or an iPhone like I do here. And uh, you can use your voice commands into that or if you have a Google Home speaker. So. I have a Google Home Mini, or if you have the bigger one, you can use that as well. And now on the other side, now on my TV, I don't have Chromecast built in. So if you have Chromecast built into your television, you're golden. If you don't, and you just have a Chromecast or Chromecast Ultra like I do, it'll work that way as well. So I'm gonna show you how to connect these so you could just use voice commands to see your camera system right on your television. Now, if you don't know if your camera system, your NVR is compatible with this, uh, look in the description below. You'll see all the models listed there that are compatible. And also, please make sure you have the latest uh, software or firmware on your smartphone, as well as your NVR, your Swan security system at home. Okay, so we're all ready to go. So you wanna go ahead and open up the HomeSafe View app, which is connected to your NVR. And then in the upper left there, you want to hit the menu. And then you're going to go down to where it says Google Home and hit that. Okay, now after you hit that, you'll see your NVR there. And then you're going to go ahead and follow the prompts. Now it's going to say, let's get started. You hit that. It's going to say if you have a speaker or you're going to be using your phone, which one are you going to be using for the voice command? So I'm going to be using the Google Home Mini. And then now, this is, this is crucial, I want you to look at this here. Okay, so before you say that phrase, you wanna open up the Google Home app. And then when you're in here, you're gonna say, hey Google, Swan Security. And then a dialog box is gonna come up asking, do you wanna link your NVR to your Google Home account? And you do. So you're gonna hit that, and it will ask for the password, and email login to your Swan security system because it wants to verify that it's you. So once that's done, so once that's done, you follow the prompts and you link your account, you'll come back to the Swan app and you'll hit this down here, pair Google account. So once you go ahead and pair the Google account, it'll talk you through the rest of the steps that you have to do and then you're done, you're golden. Once it's linked and you're all ready to go, you'll know it'll say it's verified and it's linked and then now you can give voice commands okay so now you got the confirmation that you're done you're ready to go you're rocking and rolling if you want to double double check even though it's already told you if you hit the menu button up here in the swan app go back down to google home on the right hand side here let me zoom in so you can see that okay in the upper right here you see how like that chain link is linked it's not broken if it's not connected and working it's broken, but if it's together how mine is, then it's linked and connected and you're all good to go. So I have my TV on, it's on the Chromecast, and now you just go ahead and talk either into the app on your phone or to your uh, Google Home Assistant. All right, now let's go ahead and give it a try. So I'll say, okay Google, ask Swan Security to show channel two. Okay, starting the stream. And there you have it. So I could say, okay, Google, 
Ask Swan Security to show channel 1. Okay, starting the stream. And there you go. Okay, Google. Ask Swan Security to show channel 6. Okay, starting the stream. Okay, let's try one last one. Okay, Google. Ask Swan Security to show channel 2. Okay, starting the stream. And there you have it. So you could also create shortcuts, but instructions on that is in the PDF in the link I left below as well. So instead of saying, okay, blah, 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 show channel one or show channel three, you could say, okay, blah, 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 show front door, show porch, show side gate, whatever you want to name it. It's actually pretty cool. So if you take the time to dig in and get all custom with it, it's that much cooler. So to end it, we just say, okay, Google, stop stream. And there you have it, you're back. So it's just a quick video, quick setup. You see it's very easy to do and I just wanted to show you that. So um, how cool is that? Imagine the doorbell ringing or you hear a noise or something like that. You could just ask your assistant to show what channel and boom, it'll just pop up on your TV. But I just want to show you guys that quick video. All the information is in the description, links and everything below. All right guys, 